This video is going to help you add your public folders to your favorites within Microsoft Outlook. So looking at Microsoft Outlook, you have all of your stuff. You have your email. You have your list of applications that you use within Outlook. Um, you might have your shortcuts down here. They may look like this. Uh, I choose to minimize mine down here. But you're going to go to the um, public folders, and it's you see that it's highlighted right here. You're going to click on the caret to the left of that, and it's going to drop down two folders. The first one is your favorites. That's where we're going to put everything so that you have quick access to it. And the second one is all public folders. This is where everything is stored. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and we're going to look. You get, you get a whole long list of fun stuff. We're looking for the folder that says schools right here. Uh, you're going to click on that carrot and it's going to drop down all of the schools in Fairfax County. We're looking for Flores. There's Flores. I just scroll down and we're going to click on this. So this, when you click on this carrot right here, it drops down all of those, all of our public folders. Uh, there are only a few that are important to you that you want to have quick access to. The first one is Staff News. So to add Staff News to your favorites, I'm going to right click on it and you're going to get some choices and the choice that you want is add to favorites so when I click on add to favorites it's going to ask you what you want to name it you just you just keep the same name or you can name it if you want it and then add and then if I scroll back up to my favorites menu you'll see that staff news is there for me and you can see um, all the good stuff in staff news okay it's that simple so let's go back down to our public folders and let's add one more. So go to schools. You get your list of schools. We'll find, find florists. And the next one of importance is school calendar. So if I wanted to add the school calendar, I would right click on it, add to favorites. You can rename it if you want, master calendar, school calendar, your choice. Add. And if I scroll back up to my favorites, school calendar is there for me to, to, to view. Okay, now uh, let's go back down and so all public folders. I want to add the last thing I, that, that's pretty important is your uh, computer lab calendars and your mobile lab calendars. Signing those out and you need to be able to access those calendars pretty quickly. So we're going to go back to where we were. So all public folders, schools, Flores, and it's a unique name. It's titled Room Reservation Calendars. So for this one, this one is its own folder. So to add everything that's in this folder, so instead of adding all of these things individually, which takes too much time, we can right click on the Room Reservations Calendars folder. If I right click on this, I can add to favorites. You can do the same thing as before, but this time I want you to click on options. When you click on options, there are two checks that I want you to put in these boxes. The first one is add subfolders to, of this folder and then automatically add new subfolders. Check the boxes. This is important because any other folders that are inside of this folder will also be added. Also, if anything else is changed or added to this folder, it will automatically update it for you so you don't have to worry about it. So make sure that those two checks are in the box. Click Add, and then if I go back up to my Favorites menu, as there it is for you. So you have it all, all set for you. So you've got your Room Reservations folder, you've got your School Calendar, and you've got your Staff News. Th those are the three most important um, folders that you'll probably need pretty quickly. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you have, if you have any questions, please ask.